Good afternoon, children. How is everyone doing? Namaste to all of you. Very warm welcome to the session. Hi, Katyaini. Hi, Akanksha. Good afternoon, Sangeeta. Hi, Harshita. Jivika. Mimansa. Oh, so many, I think majority of the names ending with A today, right? Okay. Nice to, nice to meet you all, children. Um, so I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Yes. How many of you have uh, started going back to school? I just want to know that. Started school. So in the meantime, if there's anyone here who is attending my live session for the very first time, my name is Ambika and I am your biology master teacher right here on this amazing platform of Vedantu, which is Vedantu 9th and 10th English. Okay. So we do have quite a number of you. Aditya, Sangeeta, Jeevika, Nilpad, um, Anushri, Shilpa, Lakshay. Okay, so she says not me. Um, Abhinandan says me. Okay. Okay. Okay, so many of you actually. And how is it? I mean, how, how does it feel to be uh, going back to school after a long time? I know you guys must be taking precautions. Things still must be a little restricted, I suppose. Uh, but how does it feel? Absolutely, my pleasure, Ayush. Hi, Amar. Hi, Javeria. School started, right? Feels amazing, Lakshay. Okay, great. Nice. Bhargavi says, very scary. Oh, my goodness. What happened? Okay. After 10 months, we are going to school. I know, like almost a year, right? Such a long time. Uh, yes, my daughter also, she's about to uh, start school like uh, end of this month. So that's also after a very long time, after 10 months. Okay, so children, let us get started. Uh, but before we get started, uh, let me just tell you what we are going to be discussing today. We are doing yet another session of the ICSE class 10 one shot series for biology okay and today we are going to be discussing the chapter the endocrine system which is the last chapter of human physiology in one shot so for those of you who are not familiar with what exactly one shot is let me tell you one shot series is intended for those of you who are looking for something very quick as in not in 15 20 minutes okay for that we have got a bio bite series but this is going to be the major concepts of a, a basic overview of the entire chapter in one shot. So this can take anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes, uh, uh, sorry, 30 minutes to one hour. Sometimes if it's a long chapter like the last one, nervous system, sorry, it can be as long as one hour as well. Okay, guys? Right. Okay. So let us get started. And here is a positive quote for you all. Work on yourself, by yourself and for yourself. Okay, so this is about it. I think uh, that's been beautifully said. If not for anyone else, always remember that you are a very, very special creation um, on this planet. So definitely work on being the best version of yourself. Everything else, trust me, everything else, including um, how the world seems like will positively change there. Okay, guys. Yes. So everyone's already asking me, ma'am, menti, 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 menti. Okay. So children, let me make it very clear to you. It is one short series. So I have a very short menti for you, which I will decide when to start. It can be somewhere in the first half. It can be in the middle. It could be at the end also. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll first basically observe how you guys are behaving in the class. Okay. So um, let's see if all goes well, we'll definitely have it like in the first class itself. All right. Right. So keeping that in mind, keeping in mind that this is a live session and this is a session with Menti, I want everyone to click on the like button right now so that uh, you can easily convey to me that you want more and more of these live sessions with Menti. Yes. What do you all guys say? Yes. Amazing. Amazing. Yes. Keep it up. Okay. Yes, Abhinandan. I've already noticed. Hello, Dani. Hi, Arjun. You have exam on Monday. Monday as in today. Today is Monday, right? Okay, you mean next Monday? 
All right, so here we get started. Children, if you remember, what all do we discuss in this chapter? Uh, yes, of course, today we are not going to be learning it for the very first time, but these are the things that we have learned in this chapter, right? What are endocrine glands, um, uh, the endocrine system's relation to the nervous system, what are hormones, the, the overview of all the endocrine glands in the body, okay? Then a feedback mechanism, pituitary gland and its hormones, disorders as well, adrenal, pancreas and thyroid. So children basically remember there are four major endocrine glands in the body, okay, in the body that you guys have to know, okay. Yes, Vijay Shankar says uh, this time ICSE will rock. All right, Harshita, your pre-boards are about to begin, is it? Hello, Aryan, I'm good. Okay, so good luck for all of you guys whose pre-boards are about to start. Okay, let's keep in mind all that uncertainty aside. We, I think, have been doing a wonderful job of doing our part in the best possible, possible manner. Right? Okay, start it for some of you. Okay, so here are the two control mechanisms of the body. Children, I might be focusing a little less on charts for the next few minutes. So please pay attention. I want the best participation from all of you. Okay, there are two control mechanisms for the body, neural control and chemical control. Neural control, as the name uh, indicates, uh, it occurs by electrical impulses by the neurons, by your nervous system. Whereas chemical control occurs by chemical regulators called hormones. So what exactly are hormones? Yes, guys, what are hormones? They are basically simple chemical messengers secreted by endocrine glands to the uh, specific target organs or cells of your body okay so yes this is about what hormones are and the source is definitely something that you have to know endocrine glands so somebody here tell me very quickly um, an example of an exocrine gland example of an exocrine gland very very quickly tell me the answer to that yes exactly chemical messengers directly to blood there is a menti ayush. I will not be answering that question anymore. All right. Yes. Pancreas, salivary gland. Yes, absolutely. Any other answers? Um, stimulus. What do you mean stimulus? Okay. Sweat gland. Exactly. Exactly. So yes, uh, exocrine glands are basically those which have a duct to pour in their secretions to the target uh, site whereas endocrine glands are what we call what do we call them what do we call endocrine glands the nickname to endocrine glands yes me mansa in the case of uh, exocrine glands right ductless yes me mansa absolutely as me mansa says ductless glands are what endocrine glands are right? They don't have ducts. These are the general properties of hormones. They are released in blood, right? Secondly, they are, uh, they regulate by chemical means. They affect the enzyme systems of the body by chemical means. Then thirdly, they act on the target organs or cells, which are usually away from the source of secretion, okay? Fourth, they are not species specific. For example, if there are two or more species wherein um, there is uh, one hormone which is in common, say for example, insulin is secreted by human beings and it may also be secreted by uh, probably mice. When the same hormone is secreted by two different in two different species, they would most likely, usually, normally have the same influence in their respective organisms. Okay, so that is what it means. Uh, they are not Okay, so where is my uh, mouse? Okay, yes, there we go. They are not species specific. And another interesting thing is they are potent in very small quantities, tiny, tiny quantities. They can be very active. Yes, guys? Yes. So active concentration of one part in how much is that? 300 million parts, one in 300 million parts. It is that active in tiny quantities then um, it's a composition or structurally it may belong to different categories which are peptide steroid or amines all right examples for each of them is given to you yes guys okay yes very active two more additional um features of hormones are their deficiency or an excess leads to serious disorders hyposecretion um, which is deficiency and hypersecretion which means excess 
okay both of them may lead to serious consequences yes namaskaram simon <laughs> Sebaceous, no, no, Adanki. Endocrine glands, uh, our ductless glands, sebaceous glands would be an example of exocrine glands. Okay, then they are not stored in the body. Yes, that's another important thing to know, right? Hormones are not stored in the body and they would be usually excreted from the system after their action. Yes, yes, Parzwal, absolutely. Your chats are visible. Hi, Ashish. Okay, amazing. Yes, guys. So these are the different endocrine glands, the major endocrine glands we see in the human body. What are they? The pituitary, the pineal, the thyroid, thymus, adrenal, pancreas and ovary and testes. Right. So these are the major ones. And what you need to know as per your syllabus are the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, the adrenal gland and the pancreas. Yes, guys. Okay. Now, before we move on, let me ask you guys one very quick thing, especially my ICSE class 10 students here. Let me ask you one very quick question. Okay. How many of you have made your own notes for this particular chapter? Yes. Oh, by the way, that reminds me for uh, the CBSE mind map series. You guys have been sending me amazing, amazing mind maps and I'm so, so excited and happy to see those. Okay. So in my next CBSE session, I will be sharing some of them. All right, guys. Yes. Don't worry at all, Paswell. Yes. Me, 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 say some of them. Bhargavi, Nilpad, Arushi. Okay. I hope you guys ha uh, have actually been truthful. Uh, yes, guys. So, um, especially in this chapter, endocrine glands, it's very important to remember that the best way of learning the uh, glands and hormones is by making it in the form of a table. Yes, guys. Making it in the form of a table. Okay. All right. So, I have already made it very clear. Questions about menti, I will not answer it anymore. Okay. So, yes. But I want you all to stay till the very end. Then you will know. I have already revealed whether or not we are going to be having menti. Okay. Right, guys. So, uh, this is an overview of the major endocrine glands that you have to know about. The pituitary, um, its hormones and their functions. Uh, growth hormone is the major function, major hormone of the pituitary gland in addition to several others. Um, and it controls growth and functioning of various other endocrine glands. Right, guys? Okay. Then, Okay, thyroid, parathyroid, which all control many different vital functions in the human body, adrenal, pancreas, testes and ovaries. Yes, guys, the, this is an overview. So children, I would suggest <coughs> when you make your own notes, sorry, <coughs> when you make your own notes, it's important to um, have a table which includes glands, hormones, functions or role and under secretion or over secretion as in disorders related to them yes guys it's very important to add them in the same table then about the feedback mechanism okay now in positive feedback mechanism uh, we perhaps know you guys perhaps already know uh, that this is where greater the amount of um, stimulus greater the uh, stimulus greater would be the uh, secretion of the hormone and likewise it continues like a cycle greater the hormonal secretion stimulus would increase even further for example the best example is the action of oxytocin children quickly tell me which um, part which um, which endocrine gland secretes oxytocin yes ovaries what do you mean oxytocin no it's not ovaries Yes, 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 Gurvinder, it will be provided, okay? Not immediately after the class, okay? But it will be, come back and check it uh, either today or tomorrow, it will be there. The notes will be there. Pituitary, be very specific, be more specific. Be more specific. Posterior pituitary, says Aditya, very good, very good. Posterior pituitary releases oxytocin. So, when a baby is at the end of pregnancy, when the baby's head touches the mother's cervix, um, it messengers, uh, basically nerve impulses, are carried from the cervix to the mother's brain. 
okay and this stimulates the pituitary gland the posterior lobe to release more oxytocin oxytocin and oxytocin gets carried in the bloodstream to the uterus and this stimulates uterine contractions to push the baby further and further towards the cervix and ultimately uh, the head is pushed against the cervix and this would keep continuing until the baby is delivered the baby is expelled out of the mother's body this is called positive feedback mechanism wherein greater the stimulus greater would be the hormonal secretion now there is also negative feedback mechanism wherein sometimes in the wherein um, you have to keep in mind that majority um, of yes majority of our uh, hormones are controlled by the negative mechanism okay so uh, basically what happens is um, for example in the case of insulin or maybe the thyroid hormone these are all examples of negative feedback wherein uh, once the pituitary once the hypothalamus sends messages to the pituitary to release the respective stimulating hormone that would act on the respective endocrine gland maybe the thyroid or whatever it may be and that releases its hormones target cells would be activated um, and once its action is done what happens is there is a negative message that's given basically the hormone would send back an inhibitory message to switch off the control point so that more hormone wouldn't be secreted the need is achieved right the need has been taken care of so more hormones wouldn't be released like in the case of insulin like in the case of thyroid hormones and all of these okay so yes as you can see here thyroid is a very very good example of negative feedback mechanism um, so is the pancreas okay insulin is also a very good example all right guys yes yes so um coming to the major details of each of our endocrine glands uh, children stay alert menti can start any time okay all right anushka this is icsc class 10 all right yes so uh pituitary we call it the master gland where do you find it it's found hanging from the base of the mid brain just below the hypothalamus and thinking about the weight of the pituitary it's just about one half gram in weight 0.5 grams can you imagine yes so these are the lobes of the pituitary majorly it's uh, the anterior lobe or the adenohypophysis and the posterior lobe or the neurohypophysis there's also an intermediate lobe which is not really well developed in the case of human beings but there are several rod ends in which intermediate lobe is very well developed okay right nice to know that shruti so high five for you yes okay so children these are the hormones secreted by anterior pituitary what are they you know that it's uh, stimulating hormones majorly which are secreted tsh acth fsh and lh gh prolactin and even endorphins yes guys yes exactly so <laughs> Oh, nice to know that, uh, Ishita. Okay. Yes, absolutely, I know, Vidhi. And I have wished Abhishek sir in the morning itself. <laughs> All right. So, children, this is about the effects of the anterior pituitary. Please go through this. Uh, this is just intended for a quick revision for you guys. What do they majorly do? Remember, children, always keep in mind, it's very easy to guess the effect of a particular hormone by thinking about the meaning of the hormonal name growth hormone for example stimulates growth prolactin lacto something to do with mammary glands milk production right acth adrenocorticotropic hormone stimulates adrenal cortex tsh thyroid stimulating hormone stimulates the thyroid gland yes children yes follicle stimulating hormone acts on the ovarian follicles acts on the testes as well in the case of males luteinizing hormone again associated with um, reproductive system in males and females um, so obviously you would be able to guess what are the disorders gigantism and dwarfism right over and under secretion of growth hormone in childhood and in adulthood over secretion of growth hormone may lead to what we call acromegaly okay yes it's gigantism all right, you got 97 in your bio pre boards. Amazing, amazing. Okay, yes. All right, so uh, what about the posterior pituitary? This secretes only two major hormones, which are oxytocin and ADH or vasopressin. Okay, so ADH is the same. 
same as vasopressin. Oxytocin, as I've told you in the positive feedback, um, yes, it stimulates the uterine muscles um, and the mammary glands. ADH or vasopressin mainly activates or uh, plays a role on the kidney tubules. Can somebody tell me what exactly the ADH hormone does? Yes, let's see how many smarties here. Quickly tell me. Yes. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Reabsorption of water, Nazira says reabsorption of water, absolutely. Yes, guys. So this is what they do. So the role of hormone, uh, the role of ADH um, in normal conditions, it is basically to maintain water levels during urine formation by your kidneys. Yes, exactly. Jahir says due to its deficiency, diabetes insipidus occurs. Absolutely bang on. So yes, children, if there is a deficiency of ADH, there would be frequent urination because Urine would be very, very dilute. Enough water doesn't get reabsorbed into your body and this could even result in dehydration to a huge extent. Right, guys? Okay. So, coming to get ready for the menti. I will be starting the menti very soon. But before that, if there's anyone here who is uh, here for the very first time and is not aware of the sessions happening at Vedantu Children, Vedantu Pro subscription has got amazing courses for you all. Uh, you can be part of unlimited life classes with fun and super high level of quizzes and you can greatly improve your quality of learning. You can compete with students across different parts of the world and that's like amazing, an amazing exp experience. Um, as a teacher also, I, I really, really enjoy that, having a mixed uh, group in my classes, all right? Uh, so, Another thing is that replays will be interactive. If at all you happen to miss a session while it's happening live, you can always go back to the playlist and click on the replay button. So the good thing is that the quizzes and leader votes will still be interactive, which means even if you're watching the replay, you can still be a part of the quizzes and leader votes. Yes, guys? Okay. Yeah. Na thank you. Thank you, Shashwat. All right. Um, and of course, handwritten notes from the teachers will be available to you after every session. Uh, chapter level and session level assignments and tests will also uh, be given to you, guaranteed to make you much better in your concepts. Okay, guys. So um, in addition to all this, you will get about 5,000 micro courses and crash courses for free. As, in, as a part of this, you don't have to pay anything extra for this. Those of you who are registered for Vedantu Pro, I'll tell you about the pricing in some time. You would get all those for free without any extra cost. Yes, guys, just remember to visit the link in the description box below and in the pinned comment. The coupon code is AMBPRO that you have to apply. Okay, guys, so a one month subscription is all that I want to talk to you about. This is basically where um, your entire syllabus can be done at like a fast track course. Okay, um, so with application of the coupon code AMBPRO, Till June 2021, which is the year 2020-21 academic year plan, you are going to be paying 1,166. This is like an additional discount that you guys have. Okay, so all you need to do is apply the coupon code AMBPRO. So when I say 1,166, uh, what it means is you end up paying only that much for 30 days. And in the 30 days, you can avail approximately 200 sessions of not just bio, Physics, chemistry, math, social studies, English, everything, everything. Okay, so that comes down to basic math. Um, it comes down to rupees 5.83 per session, per class. Can you imagine? It's that, that reasonably priced. Okay, guys, so always remember uh, to make the best use of this uh, because, um, you know, as long as offers are valid because the best rates are available right now and... Um, 5.83 for one session to me is like, as a parent, I know how, um, what it can be for parents uh, of teenagers also, uh, that education is becoming very expensive and to have good quality education at a very reasonable price is a very, very rare thing. Yes. So definitely, so definitely, uh, this is, I would say, the best thing that Vedantu can give you guys. Okay, guys. So yes, we have completed pituitary gland.
ready for menti and then we'll continue with adrenal glands ready yes akshay is everyone ready for menti okay click on the like button click on the like button right now nobody else is saying anything yeah now i can see the josh ready 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 yes okay great great all right so here we start children by the way let me remind you the the session is not done yet okay i will be i will be continuing the session after we are done with the menti okay all right um so children go to menti.com use the code 5510391 is everyone able to see the code yes gurvinder you can go to menti.com on yes i've already started getting people joining go to menti.com on your phone or on your laptop wherever it is um go to www.menti.com you will get an option to type in the code you just have to type in the code 5510391 that's it nice to know that anushri great job joined shri lata great who else is here who hasn't joined the session yet the menti yet joined akshay yes gaming and crafty videos i am absolutely from kerala <laughs> okay sitchi so says hit the like button as bhargavi is saying <laughs> all right okay guys yes let us get started absolutely riya cbsc students can also very much join this the only thing is the chapter control and coordination uh, has been deleted for this year's board exam but that's all right i would suggest um anyone can join this okay it's only going to be five questions long okay it's only going to be five questions long that's it okay what do you mean which school is yours ma'am you mean where i studied okay yes full josh says you were shri great so shall we get started ah that's a wonderful number 81 of you already so here we start okay all right so question number 1 is on your screen right now adrenaline is released by dash adrenal cortex adrenal medulla both a and b kidney tubules what do you think adrenaline is secreted by which of these yes give me the answer on menti and then give me the answer in the chat box however you like but i want it on menti no matter what okay right and the last 5 seconds quick 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 3 2 1 and your time is up okay let's see there we go adrenaline is indeed secreted by adrenal medulla yes guys great uh, merin right yes merin says already gave on menti that's the case i am absolutely fine okay children so here is question 2 and after this i'll show you the first leaderboard okay so let us look at question number 2 exophthalmia may be caused by dash under secretion of growth hormone over secretion of growth hormone under secretion of thyroid hormone over secretion of thyroid hormone yes miss click says anila what do you mean how aryan exophthalmia may be caused by which of these nice forensic scientist wow okay and your time is up <coughs> great job people who thought it over secretion of growth hormone may i know the logic behind that over secretion of growth hormone then what is gigantism what is acromegaly yes guys exophthalmia if at all you have a confusion with that term exo is outside or ex is outside ophthalmic is something to do with your eyes bulging out of the eyes is what exophthalmia is okay just because i have completed talking about pituitary glands just now doesn't mean my questions would be related to that necessarily okay absolutely the answer is over secretion of thyroxine which is one of the thyroid hormones all right let us have a look at the leaderboard which is right here okay 
And here we go. Skids is the fastest and the position one. And then Thinky, okay? Look at that one point difference between Skids and Thinky. Keshav, Mahanur, Aditya, uh, Anirudh, Biolover, uh, Shruti, Akshay, and Akanksha. Yes, guys. Super duper. Well done. Shall we continue? Ready for the next question? Okay. Here we go. Children, by the way, by the way, I know there might be some people here who might not have subscribed to this channel yet. Okay. So if at all there's anybody like that, please click on the subscribe button right now, which you will find just below this video. Stay subscribed to this channel because um, the others who've been regular children here already know what I'm, why I'm saying this. Because on this channel, we talk not just about your academics. Of course, academics end to end, CBSC 10, uh, CBSE 9 and ICSE 10, we've completed for all your subjects, English, uh, social studies, um, your science subjects and math, everything has been done. But apart from that, tips and tricks, strategies to face your exams well, a lot of motivation. You will find amazing things on this channel. Yes, guys. So click on the subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. Okay. So here's question three. All right. Dash hormone is responsible for the contraction of uterus in pregnant mothers. Which hormone is responsible for the contraction of uterus in pregnant mothers? ADH? Vasopressin, oxytocin, estrogen. Okay, Akanksha is like very confident. Let's see. Answered, says Nazira. All right. The code is Rishi is 5510391. And good job. It is indeed oxytocin. I've already told you guys the answer, right? Positive feedback mechanism. Very well done. And here comes question number four for you right now. Growth hormone is secreted by DASH. Hmm. What do you think? Hypothalamus, anterior pituitary, thyroid gland or posterior pituitary. Growth hormone. Yes, growth hormone is secreted by DASH. This is going to be super easy, right? Abhinandan is asking, ma'am, will you and Abhishek sir do a combined mentee? Missing our Abhishek. <laughs> All right, let's think about it. I mean, on uh, we can, we just need to, um, have like basic planning for that for us to have common time and lots of things to be taken care of right okay so here we go absolutely anterior pituitary is indeed the right answer so let us now move on to the next question which is question number five okay all right blood sugar levels are maintained by dash Insulin, glucagon, thyroxine, both A and B. Blood sugar levels are maintained by DASH. What do you think? Blood sugar levels. You eat lots of laddus, you eat lots of gulab jamun, a lot of South Indians, it would be Mysore Pak, Kesari, Jalebi, right? Milk based sweet. Pal Teratipal, we call that in Tamil Nadu. If there's any, any Tamilian here, they would know what I'm talking about. Mm, the answer has to be both A and B. Children, children, children. <laughs> that was actually a blunder from you guys, right? It's not just insulin. What does insulin do? Insulin only reduces blood sugar levels. What about glucagon? Glucagon increases blood sugar levels. All the 22 of you who gave me the answer as both A and B are actually the most careful and the real heroes for today, I would say. Yes, great job, guys. The answer is indeed insulin and glucagon. Okay, never ever forget this. This is why I keep saying read the question and the options very carefully. Okay, I did not ask you, I did not ask you which of these reduces blood sugar levels, right? Okay, and there we go. Shruti nailed biopracticals and you have nailed the mentee as well today, Shruti. It's a good job. Very, very well done. So, um, uh, so Shruti, very, very well done. And then we have uh, uh, Keshav, right? Uh, Keshav Gandhi and then happy birthday, Abhishek sir is what Keshav says. And Keshav Kumar and we have Mahanur. Okay, I can't see the full name after this. Something Rhea I can see. And then we have Aditya. Bio Love um, and Akshay, Anirudh and Yasra. All right. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Very well done. Um, 
special congratulations to Shruti and the rest of you. Stay with me. Uh, I mean, everyone actually, stay with me. We are going to be continuing our session. Okay, we are going to be starting with the discussion of the next gland, which is basically nothing apart from the adrenal glands. Yes, guys, can everyone see the slide clearly? Adrenal glands, what is it? 34th position, 47, 75th, 55, no worries at all. Have you learned something? That's all that matters. If the answer is yes, great job. That's it. Right? Okay. So children, it's right here. Adrenal glands, where do you find it? It's found like a cap on top of each kidney. And it majorly secretes adrenaline. Akanksha, Akanksha, what do I say about adrenaline all the, all the time? What do I say about adrenaline all the time? I love hearing it from uh, Akanksha. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Bhargavi says, snake. Fight of light, says Shreya Sharma. Yes. Akansha says, <laughs> snake and horror movies. Absolutely. Yes, guys. Snake and horror movies, as I always say. Response to adrenaline. Basically, response to uh, the sight of a snake or when you watch horror movies. These will be the effects of adrenaline. Right? On your heart, on the breathing center of your brain, on the arterioles of your skin, um, the arterioles of the digestive system, muscles of your body, liver, fat deposit, everything. Right? Hello, Anushka. Okay, Pritam says, ma'am, one more menti. So, uh, we are done with menti for the day, but I will be asking you questions every now and then, okay? So, I want answers for that. I will be calling out names anyway, and I will be randomly asking you guys questions, all right? Right, so, uh, fu yes, functions of adrenaline is what is uh, mentioned here. So, basically, just remember, imagine, put yourself in that mindset that you have a snake encounter. You're like in front of a snake all of a sudden without expecting what would happen? Breathing rate would become faster. Heart starts beating faster. Your skin may turn pale because you're like very, very scared. Um, and maybe like uh, there would be more glucose rushing to your um, blood so that it's giving you the extra energy to fight the snake or just fly away from there. Right? Okay. So that's about adrenal medulla. Then about the adrenal cortex, which is the outer cellular layers of the adrenal gland, they secrete two kinds of hormones which are mineralocorticoids, right? Mineralocorticoids and glucocorticoids, okay? Mineralo and glucocorticoids, basically. So what do they do? These are the major functions of the cortical hormones. Increase blood sugar, glucose concentration, um, influence fat and protein metabolism, regulate salt and water balance in the body, adapts the body to different kinds of stresses. Then uh, some of them even act as sex hormones, Okay, just like sex hormones. And overgrowth of cortex uh, may lead to premature maturity premature uh, sexual maturity basically okay so uh two major diseases you need to know associated with this are hyposecretion um, of cortisone which causes adolescence disease and these are the symptoms and hypersecretion resulting in what we call cushing's syndrome all right and these are the symptoms you need to know here yes there we go Cushing's syndrome. Always remember um, Cushing, maybe like cushiony sort of body, which is uh, what obesity is. Okay, no offense meant here, but uh, I'm just trying to give you uh, tips and tricks here to help you remember this because so many names you might not be able to recall it properly. Right, guys? Okay, yes. So next coming to pancreas. Now, children, now, children. <laughs> okay, so somebody here tell me um, what does pancreas do? Why is pancreas, uh, I mean, what is special about pancreas? One, one unique feature about pancreas. Tell me that very, very quickly. Yes. Nitesh, hi Nitesh. No worries, Ruby. Maintain sugar level? Yes, Mimansa. Absolutely, it does maintain sugar level. Secretes insulin and glucagon, says Shreya. Dual glands, says Pritam. Bhargavi says exo and endocrine. Absolutely, that's the answer, right? So what is unique about pancreas was my question. So Bhargavi said it's both exocrine and endocrine. Exocrine, what does the exocrine part of pancreas do? Let's see who gives me the answer to that. Raghu has already given me the answer before I even asked the question. During digestion, pancreas makes pancreatic juice, which are enzymes. 
right? They break down sugars, fats and starches. Great. Good job, Raghu. Okay, exactly. Um, and the endocrine part of it, endocrine part of it um, has got cells which are called, uh, I mean, include cells which are called islets of Langerhans. Okay, there are alpha cells, beta cells and delta cells in this region. Alpha cells secreting glucagon, beta cells secreting insulin, delta cells secreting somatostatin. Okay, under secretion of insulin, obviously everybody here knows, right? Under secretion of insulin, if there is no sufficient insulin in the body, the person would become a sugar patient, a diabetic patient. Diabetes mellitus. Right, hyperglycemia because high glucose levels in the blood resulting in diabetes mellitus. Okay. So, left untreated, this can lead to very, very, very serious consequences. Okay, right, you know what? Uh, when I was a child, uh, when I was like really young, uh, it just popped up in my head. That's why I'm telling you, okay, when I was a very young child, um, everyone in the family, like many people in, in my father's side, um most of the people are diabetic okay so a lot of people used to say um okay no i don't, I don't want uh, sugar in my coffee i have sugar so i don't want sugar in my coffee i don't want sugar in my tea so my imagination when they said okay i have sugar and i don't want sugar my assumption you know what it was it can be as weird as you think uh, this generation is definitely smarter than us okay so what i used to think is okay these guys how lucky they are without even adding extra sugar they feel a sweet taste uh, whatever they eat or drink wow how nice is what i thought it's only after i grew up a little bit i uh, understood that Yes, I actually understood that uh, saying I have sugar means I have too much sugar in my blood. That's not really a good thing, right? Exactly. Okay, As people are actually telling here, same here, same here, ma'am. <laughs> okay, so yes, uh, children, now coming to glucagon. Now, glucagon um, is the opposite. Basically, glucagon, what it does is, uh, it is secreted by alpha cells. It stimulates breakdown of glycogen um, and as a result, it can release more glucose into the blood. Yes, guys? Yes. Raises the glucose level, absolutely. And then about thyroid. Okay, so thyroid, basically, what does it do? Thyroid is associated with controlling your overall metabolism. You can say that the thyroid gland is the gland which gives you the much needed josh. Yes, so this is the butterfly shaped gland which you find uh, just below the larynx in your neck region. right? And as you can see here, the right lobe and the left lobe of the thyroid are connected by a narrow channel or channel like structure called um, isthmus. Okay, right. Um, so these are the major hormones of the thyroid. There are three major hormones which are T3, T4 and calcitonin. Okay. Uh, according to your syllabus, you majorly need to know T4 and calcitonin. T4 what's also called thyroxine. Okay, regulates basal metabolism. Calcitonin, as the name indicates, regulates the level of calcium and phosphate in the blood. Okay, so this is what thyroxine and calcitonin do. Excess secretion of thyroid hormones would result in what we call exophthalmic goiter. Okay, guys? Yes. So, uh, children, can somebody here tell me what does, um, there is a disorder, the name of a disorder, um, which, yeah, which results, uh, which is uh, resulting from under secretion of thyroxine hormone in childhood, in like early childhood. If there is a deficiency of thyroid hormones, what does it result in? Yep. Um, no, it's not goiter. Yes, Akanksha. Very much. Very good. Akanksha says it's cretinism. Lakshmi also says it's cretinism. Absolutely. Cretinism in childhood. So, honey, myxedema would be deficiency in adulthood. Okay. Right. -o. So, there we go. We are done with the, ch the chapter endocrine glands in one shot. And we have discussed all of this. At least we have had an overview of all of these topics. Um, all the four major hormones which you have to do. And about the feedback mechanism. Right? So children, make sure you are able to answer questions based on all of these. Even um, a little bit of carelessness like what you guys did in Menti um, will result in loss of marks. Why unnecessarily 
take chances when you are actually capable of doing very well. Yes, guys. So remember to visit uh, the link in the description box below and the coupon code is AMBPRO. Okay, guys, without the pro subscription, we'll have a lot of amazing things to offer you. And children, thank you very much if you have found this session useful. I'm sure you would have. Click on the like button right now. Share it with all your ICSC class 10 friends. I would have said CBSE also um, had it been last year because this year, honestly speaking, I wouldn't... Um, force you guys for CBSE sharing because the chapter control and coordination has been deleted from the syllabus. So especially with your ICSE friends, please share this, okay? And stay subscribed because we have a lot of amazing things happening on this channel. Yes, guys, and uh, my Instagram ID is Ambika underscore Vedantu. So please start following me there as well so that you don't miss out on any useful updates uh, which we put up over there. Okay, guys? <coughs> All right. <laughs> okay, children. So take care, stay happy and stay healthy. I will see you in yet another amazing session. Bye-bye.